Al, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about you. I just want you to know that this hasn't changed my feelings at all. Gee, that's nice of you, Peg. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to go upstairs and fool around? No. <laughs> Hi, bud. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. It's Jim. And Natalie. <laughs> so, um, what's for dinner, Aunt Peggy? It's Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> now, kids, go ahead and put your bags in the closet next to mine. <laughs> and let's try to cheer your father up. He's a little bit down, what with that piece on Paul Harvey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to like him. Oh, now, Al, don't worry. Honey, we've weathered your paychecks. We'll weather this, too. And, Al, I want you to know that no matter how bad it gets, and I think I speak for the kids, too, we will not wear our bags in the house. <laughs> right, kids? Well, well not one of my rooms. Right. There, you feel better, Al. <laughs> Where are you going, honey? I'm going to pay the fine. It'll break us. But at least we don't have to be ashamed of who we are. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bundy. I've been expecting you. Hey, man. Don't Bundy that book. <laughs> You're quite famous, you know. This week, we've had 34 overdue books returned by mail, with checks. The children are terrified and treat each book like fine china. Mr. Bundy, you've become the Freddy Krueger of the library system. <laughs> Mr. Groot, does the word suey mean anything to you? Children, quiet down or you wind up like this man. <laughs> you know, Mr. Bundy, I've worked at this library for 44 years. I was eligible for retirement three years ago. You know why I stayed? You learned to eat books? <laughs> You're a horrible little boy. I kept this job for one reason. I knew I'd nail you, and I did. Pat Garrett got Billy the Kid, and I finally got you. My job is over. Today is my last day. You know, it's funny. I could have given you amnesty on the book. I would have for anybody else. But I always hated you. <laughs> is it wrong to hate a nine-year-old boy? No. <laughs> Not when that boy is you. It's the joy of my life to see you grow up like I always knew you would. A total and complete loser. <laughs> Today, when I get in my car and leave this place for the last time, I will be whole. Your shame is my gold watch. So you think I'm a loser? Just because I have a stinking job that I hate? A family that doesn't respect me? A whole city that curses the day I was born? Well, that may mean loser to you, but let me tell you something. Every morning when I wake up, I know it's not going to get any better until I go back to sleep again. So I get up, have my watered-down tang and still frozen Pop-Tart, get in my car with no upholstery, no gas, and six more payments to fight traffic just for the privilege of putting cheap shoes on the cloven hooves of people like you. <laughs> I'll never play football like I thought I would. I'll never know the touch of a beautiful woman. And I'll never again know the joy of driving without a bag on my head. <laughs> but I'm not a loser. Because despite it all, me and every other guy who will never be what he wanted to be are still out there being what we don't want to be 40 hours a week for life. And the fact that I haven't put a gun in my mouth, you pudding of a woman, <laughs> makes me a winner. <laughs>